Maple, what are you doing? Why aren't you in your your pen? Huh? Come on. And she just broke it all down, huh? Huh. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. So the greenhouse overnight, uh, we got a little bit of snow. And this thing holds up to snow load really well with that beam down the center uh, since our first uh, major catastrophe two years ago. But uh, the wood boiler back there, is, you can see it's still at an idle, just kind of um, smoldering away there. That means that uh, it still has a, a good wood load from last night. Um, I only loaded it once yesterday, so it's been keeping up pretty good. But the temperatures haven't been that cold. You see right now it's about 40 degrees inside the raised bed. Um, it's set at uh, 45 and that's the, the target temperature. Uh, and as soon as it gets to five degrees below that, so it, once it gets down to 40, it'll uh, kick on the heater. So it should be coming on here in just a few minutes. But it seems to, it just depends on how cold it is. The heater will run constantly when it's nine degrees outside. And that's what it's supposed to get down to. I think it's either nine degrees or seven degrees. So it's, uh, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> Let's take a peek inside. I like to try to keep this closed as much as possible, but we'll have to see. Can we keep that citrus tree down there alive when it's, you know, seven degrees outside tomorrow? That's gonna be the struggle. I haven't seen a lot of sprouts coming up yet. Um, I think a lot of that is weeds. Yeah, we might have some carrots coming through and uh, maybe some broccoli. So we got a few things coming up in here, but uh, a lot of that is uh, a lot of that is just weeds. And with the snow on here, actually, actually feels fairly warm in here. It kind of insulates it. So you know, it's it's about 30 degrees outside, uh, 25 degrees, something like that. And uh, you know, it's probably about 30 in here, 35 in here. So it stays five, 10 degrees warmer inside. But uh, heater's about to kick on. And there we go. I have the fan just set on low, low speed. I just don't think it needs to be any higher than that. I want it to kind of slowly warm up and slowly cool down. But I do have some things to patch up here. Uh, I've got some holes I want to co close up. I just don't, you know, I want to seal this up as best as I can. Uh, throwing pieces of cardboard and stuff in here because there's just little gaps where the tubing comes in. I need to get some greenhouse tape and seal that up also. Um, but other than that, the 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 thing is pretty pretty airtight. Um, we've got it pretty pretty sealed up around, around the post and stuff like that and the rest of it's just one big piece of plastic so that, that should work pretty good. But my plan for overnight is uh, I need to figure out a way to insulate this bed better. Um, this plastic just it barely holds any heat when there's at nighttime. If there's sun coming in here it's great but uh, overnight you know the heat just escapes right through that so when it's 90 degrees outside I'm not even sure if it'll keep the bed above 40. I'm just not, even with the heater running all the time. So we may have to find a way to cover this a little bit. We'll, we'll check back later. Well, it's about 10.30. 18 degrees outside. And it looks like it's still keeping up. I actually brought a few old blankets out. I'm gonna throw over the top of it. See if that'll help hold some heat in. So it's dropping. Pretty fast. Well, we got a couple that'll cover that end at least, but uh, looks like I need to find a few more blankets. Tonight's not the, the real cold night though. It'll be tomorrow will be the real test. So we'll find some more blankets to cover up the, the hoop. And it looks like it just got up to temperature. And it's actually, it seems to be holding, holding heat a little better. So I think that blanket's actually helped. Well, it uh, got down to 11 or 12 degrees last night. Wood boiler is still has wood in it. See the smoke rolling off the top there, just idling. And time to get in here, knock some of the snow off so we can get the sunlight in.
take our roll our blankets up this is the south side of the bed so this is where all the sun will will come in and you can definitely tell it kept it kept it warmer here everything looks good still growing the sunlight getting in there will start to warm this up and uh, this inside raised bed here will get up to probably 60 70 maybe even 80 degrees today with the sunshine even though it's the high is going to be 20 so uh, it'll stay nice and warm during the day no problem now tonight it's supposed to be eight degrees we'll see if we can make it all right it's now the night before the the big freeze i brought another blanket out i may i may try to get one more and it looks kind of silly doesn't it Let's take a peek inside here. Well, everything looks good. Everything's growing and key staying green. That's, that's all we care about. It's getting down 39 degrees. And the heater's on right now. It takes a while to start warming back up again when it's this cold out. So they're saying that uh, it's going to be five degrees tonight, and that's without wind chill. It's not not too windy, so I don't think that'll be much much more uh, below that. But I think that's a record. I think this is the coldest it's ever been, <laughs> November twelfth or thirteenth. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's just I've said this before, but this is very similar to that movie The Martian. You know, uh, where he's sitting there and he's like, anything can go wrong here. If the circulation pump goes out on the boiler, everything's going to die. If the little you know fan goes out on the boiler, everything's gonna die. Uh, if something starts to leak, everything's gonna die. If that fan doesn't work, everything's gonna die. So you know, well, it only takes. Well, I don't have any backup uh, backup stuff set up with this. Um, maybe that's something I'll do is you know redundant systems down the road. But I don't know if it's gonna make it overnight. I don't know what's gonna happen here. If if, uh, if it only takes one thing to go wrong, and uh, it'll drop down below freezing in there, you know, in uh, in a matter of maybe. 20 30 minutes and uh, everything's gonna die so we'll see what happens well let's go out and check the fire and see how it's doing and make sure it's packed full of wood for the night i split some wood earlier split pieces of wood burn a lot better and they're easier to load i can get get more more in here for a night like tonight so it looks like it's up to temperature right now Hear everything crackling in there it's it's drying out all right we've got it packed about as full as i can get it so we'll close it up hope for the best the circulation pump is going it's at 140 degrees that's what i have it set at right now Everything is as good as we can get it. If the thermostat goes bad too, that, that could be a, a fail. <laughs> Lots of things that can go wrong. Yeah, I've still got some wood left to throw in there in the morning. Just in that time we were outside, it dropped, dropped down and the heater came on again. So it's running about every five minutes. All right, let's see what happens in the morning. Well, it's morning. Got down to about five or six degrees last night. And it looks like the boiler is still holding temperature. So we didn't, we didn't burn through that load of wood. Let's see how much we have left after the night. All right, quite a bit. Well, we got quite a bit of wood left in there still from, from overnight, so it did did well. Um, that's actually enough wood to, to last the rest of the day if I didn't load any more in there. Um, it'll fire a couple times during the day today and and uh, burn the rest of that up, but but we'll load it up. Um, I load all the, the greener wood on the top, and it just sits there and, and dries out throughout the day while it's smoldering, and then when it fires up, it burns burns real good. And that's all just burning pine that's not even good wood so let's go see 
in the greenhouse how well we did. It's a cloudy day, so it's about 9.30 in the morning, but it's uh, not much sun today, so we're holding at 40 degrees and it's dropping kind of slowly. So I have a little wireless, that little white thing in there is a little wireless uh, temperature sensor. I can always check the temperature at the cold end of the bed here. Um, the heater's down there, it blows down this way. So, so throughout the night, throughout the day, I can check and see how well the heater's been working. And I also get a notification or an alert if it drops below 35 degrees. So um, I don't know, that wouldn't give me much time to get out here, but, but I, I could get out here if I needed to. Everything looks alive to me. A lot of these leaves that are touching the edge here are probably not going to do well. Um, this, this plastic obviously is, is cold, so let's just take a peek in here. I don't like opening the, the side when it's still cold in here. It's, if it were sunny out, it would be different, but I don't want to blast the raised bed with freezing cold air. But down here is where our seeds were, were all planted. And I see some sprouts coming up of some things that I recognize, but not too much. Um, we might need to kick the heater up a little bit and get the soil temperature a little bit higher. But down at this end of the bed, we've got some peppers growing. Uh, those will be ready in a, in a couple weeks. And the pepper plants especially look good. And some of the, the ones I transplanted, all those sticks in there, those are uh, just starting to get leaves at them. Um, they'll they'll take a while to get rooted well and start growing real fast but they're they're coming back and the orange tree or the clementine tree there it's alive it's not flowering or anything it won't really flower until we can get the temperatures up in here consistently above 70 um, and then it'll start to flower but right now it's it's surviving that's good enough well it's not a perfect system or a, a pretty system <laughs> but it is uh, it is working and uh, I imagine this is what it will be like to raise crops on Mars. I mean, one, one thing goes wrong and, and it's all over. You're done for the year. Um, you're not going to come back from that. I'm, I'm hoping and praying for the best here for the, for the season. It's uh, about mid-November, so, you know, we still got, you know, a good three months of solid cold temperatures. Uh, next couple weeks, it looks like it's going to get back up into the 40s during the day, so it'll be right, nice and warm in here. Um, but this was the coldest uh, November day i think on record here in michigan or pretty close uh, that we've that we've had or ever has ever been recorded so it uh it, it was a cold one <laughs> that's for sure i'm gonna work on some redundancies probably over the next month or two given time uh, i might put some hot water system in there where there's some storage tanks throughout the raised bed that hold and store uh, hot water from the boiler um, or even from solar energy that are just black you know tubing or piping or something else in there where um, or if the boiler went, went down or something else happened that you know we could keep enough heat in there to, to have the plant survive overnight. That's all, that's all I need. I just need to stay above freezing. Once it drops below 32 degrees, I mean, they can handle a little bit, maybe a few hours of below 32, uh, but if it drops too far below that, then everything, the leaves are just gonna freeze, everything will die off, and so we wanna avoid that. But I'll keep you guys uh, updated on how the, uh, the heated raised bed does. If we ever go to Mars, we'll, we'll know what to do. <laughs> don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video of course and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along and don't forget if you'd like to check out the farmers for christ ministry uh, go ahead and subscribe over to that youtube channel i'll put a link in the description uh, we're starting to put some content out there uh, weekly um, or as, as, as much as i possibly can so check that channel out as well and as always guys thanks for watching have a good one